Starbucks, do you? Uh, well, I'll, I'll Stop. Too brother, far, brother, I just want Shopping. you to stay out of Starbucks. Do you know about where that Stop. coffee comes from? I, I really, that's not for me to discuss right Stop. now because I'm not. That's my job. Uh, You're talking to me about your job. I'm talking about my job. I don't want you to, want you to think about going into Starbucks. I will think about it. Future, Amen, brother. Okay? Do you go to Starbucks? All right, but are we good with the then he could be sued by his estate. Well, well so I've slept on that hair and it just stayed the same. Oh, it is. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. Do you want anything? Do you want anything? Just, you want anything? just, just, just lift it up a little bit on the ears, maybe. We're pro-business here at Fox Business. Our next guest, however, supports the Shapocalypse. <laughs> We welcome back to Happy Hour, Reverend Billy. Hey, man. Leading the fight is Reverend Billy. Reverend Billy says. Reverend, Reverend, Reverend Billy. Reverend Billy. Billy, you Shop call it the Shopocalypse. It's your culture. Shopocalypse. The Reverend Shop Billy like talent of and shopping at one. Drive the demons out of those cash registers. He led a crusade to tell shoppers to check out of the consumer culture. Reverend Billy, thanks for being Amen. with us. They say, are you an authentic preacher? And, and, and there's only one authentic preacher right now. And that's the one that's at the pulpit and whose sermons and messages come to us in the form of the fires and floods and tsunami. Democracy is a precious thing. It's a good thing. Do you know what's happening? Have you seen it? The headlines. Americans stop shopping knowing how we're spending our money. Greetings, children. I'm Reverend Billy from the Church of Life After Shopping. And there is life after shopping, though the big advertisers might try to persuade you that the only good life is uh, lived through their products. No. Join our church. Just park your car on the super value there and just walk away from it and have your miracle. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of debt, we shall fear no evil. We stopped shopping and started living, stopped consuming and started sustaining. Change a What we have done here is accommodate more of the indoor amusements and indoor uses. This would result in a This would result in a Amen! This comes to us from the demon monoculture. We know how to oppose this greed. This shall not stand. an anti-consumerist gospel with the 40 voice life after shopping gospel choir plus the not buying it band and our director She directs our stage performances as well as out in public space in the in the parks and streets. Let's go. Am, amen, hallelujah. And she is the love of my life, Savitri D. I love Coney Island. Do you love Coney Island? Yes. Do you love this place? Let's reach down in and find our freak inside. That's where the power is! Somebody give me a freak hallelujah here today! Freak hallelujah! Freak hallelujah! We come from many faith backgrounds. We don't have one 
capital F, faith. We're searching, but we're somewhere out there beyond organized religion. All we know is we stop shopping, something special happened. We want to share it with you. Amen. Because we weren't happy with all that consuming, were we? No. Is this the end of the times at last? And the families and neighborhoods were not prospering with the, with the big boxes and, and the super malls. No. And people don't really like sweatshops and the earth doesn't really like traffic jams. Amen. Let's just find that God that doesn't want to stuff stuff down our throat. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, fabulous, unknown. Guide and protect our little TV show and keep us out of jail as we carry our miracles from Coney Island to Union Square, Wall Street to America, and the world. We just want to save some souls and live an interesting life. Amen. Billy in jail. He'll stay overnight, probably in jail again. He's being charged with attempted criminal trespass, so Billy will be in jail overnight. And that sucks for him, but that's his job. And... <laughs> We're going to change the world in which we live!